So today I'm going to review some fluorite flooring. Um, the reason I'm going to talk about fluorite flooring is um, I'm getting ready to build a new house and a big part of that selection and building a new house is the flooring. So I've done a ton of research, I've looked at tile, I've looked at ceramic, all kinds of different uh, wood planking and everything else. Um, but the fluorette, as you can see, um, you know, these are some samples. Um, I've ordered other samples from other uh, vendors as well. Um, and, you know, they ship them really fast. Um, I was really impressed with the fluorette flooring, and they don't pay me or endorse me in any way. So it's purely um, something that I've wound up um, selecting for a number of reasons. Okay, firstly, uh, this flooring um, seems to be one of the best made flooring in terms of durability. Uh, I was concerned about um, environmental things. When they do manufacturing, some of the toxins that can come out of the process and, and things like that, that um, they claim that there's nothing that uh, is harmful um, in their manufacturing. Um, they also have a lifetime warranty for residential. And there's not too many that have a lifetime warranty. You'll find that a lot of them have like a 10 year warranty. Uh, but you know, that was something that to me tells me that they stand behind their product. Um, so that's another important thing. Probably one of the things that really sold it besides the safety and environmental care that they put into their product, um, they're the only ones that I found, besides the lifetime warranty, they're the only ones that I found that have a 40 mil wear layer. And the wear layer is really, really important from all the research I've done. Uh, they're also, they put a lot of emphasis on uh, UV protection. So apparently some flooring, if you're, you have a, you know, a skylight or something like that, over time can fade it, um, so they claim that they, they do a lot there. But the 40 mil wear layer, um, you can kind of see, uh, you know, in a, in a cross section. Um, this is like really, really good flooring. And the 40 mil wear layer, when I looked at that and I compared it to other samples that I got that are similar to this, uh, you can definitely tell that, that difference in that wear layer. It's really, really good. Um, this particular flooring here, uh, this sample, um, I got three full-size planks, and I got a number of small planks. What you see here are all the Rayburn color, and I'm kind of considering the Rayburn. One of the things that you gotta watch for when you order samples is that they just randomly pull the samples, and there's a big uh, difference in colors on some of the planks. Uh, with the Rayburn, uh, in particular, um, you have dark planks and light planks. And I ended up getting two dark planks, so I got a hold of Florette and um, I asked for a lighter plank so I can see the contrast. And, and they accommodated that. Um, there was also some really good um, codes out there uh, for getting a reduction in the cost. So for the three large planks that I have here, uh, that cost me $20 to get those here and that included shipping. So um, that was awesome. And these small samples, these are $3 samples. Um, but you know that's what you get. It's supposed to be totally waterproof. Um, and again, I've been looking at other samples from other uh, vendors. And one of the other things I noticed in comparing products with other products is that their um, their seams that hold the planks together was very very pronounced and very large. So to me, it just seems like it's going to be a sturdier, better build. Um, but. I'm still not totally convinced yet. So one of the things that I want to do, because I have samples, they didn't cost me a lot, is I'm going to test this flooring. And I'm going to put it through the paces. And, you know, I don't know if it's going to hold up to everything. Um, some of it's going to be pretty extreme. But I want to know if the flooring is going to hold up for the life of my house. Um, and so, again, I'm going to do some weight testing. I'm going to uh, spill things on it. I'm going to draw things on it. Um, test the waterproof ability, all these things I'm gonna, I'm gonna test and demonstrate uh, to myself that this is the right point for me. So um, with that, we're gonna go and start some, uh, some demonstrations on and testing on the durability of this product. All right, so this first test of the fluorette flooring, 
Um, I'm actually going to do a weight test because in a house you can put a lot of really heavy weight on a floor. So, you know, that could be a, a couch, it can be a waterbed, any number of things. But a lot of weight can go on a floor, so we're going to test this floor to see how it handles weight. So um, what I just did was I drove a multi-thousand pound truck onto the flooring and I don't see any, any damage to the flooring. I don't see any problems with any of the seams. I see the tire track, but I'm sure I could wipe that off. But as far as weight goes, I don't see any problem with this uh, handling extreme weight. Um, so I think it passed the first test. For this testing, um, I'm going to do some drop testing. Now, in a normal house, I imagine that there's a lot of times you're going to drop things on the floor. Tools, weights, whatever, pots, pans, any number of things. So let's, let's test some of it. The durability. Wrench. Big wrench. Well, that looks like it might have. No? Looks like that can I'm going to do that one again. Okay, hammer. Wait. Another wait. And a bigger wait. Okay, well that that cracked it right there, for sure. That's a pretty big crack we have in the floor there. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a concern. Um, you know, I, I don't know what flooring would have held up to that, but that's definitely a filter right there. Uh, but again, I don't know. You know, that was a pretty extreme test. But uh, it is what it is. So let's go on to the next test. Okay, so something you use in the house a lot, an iron. This iron's hot, it's plugged in, and definitely hot. Dropped it. That's hot. We already know that the floor at flooring uh, tends to be waterproof. Um, I'm pretty confident that water won't be an issue. Um, but you know, I'm gonna put it on there. And uh, coffee is horrible. Coffee definitely uh, is something you don't want. This is hot, it's super hot. I just boiled it. And we're gonna have coffee stains. Ooh, that's nasty and hot. You can see the steam coming off of that. That looks nasty. Nasty. And of course, red wine. Invite your friends over for a little red wine and naturally they're gonna spill it. Oh yeah. Mix it with the coffee a little bit. That's some nasty stuff right there. Oh, uh, there is one more thing that we have to... We've got coffee wine, water, nothing beats an egg. If you ever see an egg hit a car, it feels like being on the car. So this has got to be damaging the floor. Oh, nasty. So I'm going to let this stuff bake in. We're going to come back in a couple hours. Sun's out. It's going to get hot. We're going to let it bake in. And we're going to see how it cleans up. Okay. This uh, damage you know, we've, we basically hit it with uh, red wine. You can see the red wine setting up. This this been out here in the sun now for a couple hours. Um, serious damage here, at least it looks like it. The red wine's baked in real good. That egg, is, that egg looks horrible. 
um, coffee down on that end for sure. And uh, yeah, I'd say, you know, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this in to the garage. Um, we're gonna clean it up as best as we possibly can and then look at it again. And then uh, I think we're gonna make a decision on florette flooring and just see if this is the right flooring for us. Alright, so we've tested the florette. We've put this florette flooring through some serious tests and I'm about to make a decision I think on this. Um, so let's recap. I'm at a wake. Definitely hot. So just to go through what we've done with all the various tests, um, you know, between dropping heavy tools on it, between water, hot coffee, we dropped an iron on it, we poured red wine on it, and really, um, you know, this is what it looks like now after all that. Um, we did have, you know, just this one bit of damage here um, from a from a really heavy drop. I would say on all flooring, I'd say that, you know, things that you drop on the flooring, really, really heavy objects that you drop on flooring is gonna be what's gonna cause the most damage for sure. And I think that, um, you know, if you had tile, you know, ceramic or porcelain, um, you would risk having the same, you'd risk having damage for sure. Um, absolutely. So <clears throat> now this flooring looks pretty good. I've, I've washed it off the hose, cleaned it up a little bit. I, you know, and I, it, you know, it looks like pretty much when I got it. So, um, you know, all the, the edges, even the edges, you know, there's no real ed damage on the edges, the seams, all the all the different pieces there are, are really good. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this flooring. Now, this piece here, this is not florette flooring. So this is a, a competitive product that I bought. Now this product um, has the name Extreme in it, but I'm not going to tell you whose product this is. Um, as you can see though, um, what happened with this particular test, uh, this was a drop test. Now this, this product also has a lifetime warranty, just like the Florette for it. Um, but this so-called Extreme product, this was one hit of a, of a weight, of a drop test, just like I did over here on the Florette for it. Um, but the result was like this stuff shattered like glass, right? I mean, it was instant fail. Um, I can tell you for sure I wouldn't buy this product. Um, again, I'm not going to say who the manufacturer is, but I'm just saying do your research. Um, you know, a drop test, yeah, you get a crack in it, but at least my floor is not totally destroyed and I can replace that plank. Um, and maybe even, you know, with the lifetime warranty I have on the floor at flooring, maybe that would even, you know, take care of it. I, I don't know. but. Um, definitely, uh, there's differences. This flooring um, is very, very different in terms of how it's manufactured. Um, but again, you know, this is claimed to be an extreme, super durable product with a lifetime warranty, and it failed pretty much instantly. Um, so anyway, would I buy Florette flooring? I think absolutely, I buy Florette flooring. Um, so I'm getting ready to build a house and. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to purchase for it for it. I'm going to put it in the house and I'm going to, once it's all in, in the house, I'm going to videotape the whole look and feel of it in the house. I'll probably get the Rayburn, which is what this color is here. And, um, but yeah, I think, I think I would go with floor wet flooring for sure. No doubt about it. Um, so anyway, tune, stay tuned and I'll, uh, I'll be showing you the floor wet flooring in the new house once it's built.